My dear beloved heart, if in the last months I found the strength to be inwardly calm and composed, it is because I feel a strong attachment to all that is good and beautiful in the world, a feeling that sings out from the poet Whitman. Those who are close to me embody this feeling, especially you. Despite the pain, I look back gladly on my life. The bright outshone the dark, and our marriage is to the greatest degree the reason for this. Last night I let many of the wonderful moments of our marriage go through my head, and the more I thought about them, the more memories came. It was as if I looked at a starry sky in which the numbers of stars increase the more meticulously one looks. Can you remember Picnic Point when we got engaged? Early morning at the club, I sang for happiness. And before that, our first serious talk at lunch in the restaurant on Slate Street. That talk became my guiding star and has remained so. How often in the following 16 years we lay our heads on each other's shoulders at night when life had made us tired, either yours on mine or mine on yours, and then everything was fine. I did this in my mind over these last weeks, and will keep doing so. I have also thought of you and all my loved ones at eight o'clock in the morning and nine o'clock at night. Do this as well, so our love will merge in the world. Our taxing work did not make our life easy, and the danger of being overwhelmed was not small, but despite this, we remained lively people. I realized this when we visited Grossglockner and in September when we saw the huge elk appear before us. You are in my heart. You shall be in there forever. My greatest wish is that you are happy when you think of me. I am when I think of you. Many, many kisses, hugging you tight. Your A. <laughs>